Today I am sharing 24 genius shopping tricks from a professional shopper. Me. These are my personal tips and tricks and secrets into finding the best stuff and saving money. And of course, I will be talking about some specific stores like Amazon, Walmart, TJ Maxx, Wayfair, etc. But I'm also going to be sharing some just interesting general shopping tricks that you probably haven't heard of. I'm going to start with Amazon because I shop on Amazon so much. I'm sure so many of you do as well. I mean, I make so many Amazon videos uh, and I feel like I have a lot of, of tricks to kind of bestow upon you. So we're just going to lay the groundwork. So number one is just the Amazon Prime membership. I'm sure so many of you already have this, but then there's other things that people don't even realize comes with that membership. So there's actually free Amazon lockers, which is really great for people that live in an area that don't want their packages sitting on their porch. You can actually just have it sent to a locker and then you can go pick it up anytime. There's also free Amazon music, which is great. There's also discounts at Whole Foods. And then there's Amazon Prime Video, which that is worth it in itself. I watch so many movies, so many TV shows. That is a very, very, very good streaming platform. And then of course you can shop Amazon Prime Day, which is a huge sale event. I always cover it every year. It is absolutely worth the membership price. So that was super boring and probably just sounded like a big advertisement for Amazon. I promise this is not sponsored, but again, I wanted to lay the groundwork. Now, when I am shopping on Amazon, there are certain sorting techniques I have found to, again, find the best items. So there is the best sellers page on Amazon. I definitely recommend you starting there. And it actually is broken up into different categories. These are just like the best selling items on all of Amazon. You can see like the top 100 in all of the categories. Um, but actually at the top left hand corner, you can then toggle to other categories, which are very, very interesting. So there's also the new releases. And that's where I can find some just interesting and different items that some people haven't even really talked about before. I also absolutely love the movers and shakers section. This is actually full of products, again, ranked by the top 100 in tons of categories that have jumped dramatically in sales in the last week. So again, that just shows products that are just suddenly very, very popular. I can find really good things in that section. Then there's the most wished for. Now, those are items that are added most often to wish lists or registries. So again, you can find really good top rated items in that section. And then we have just gift ideas, which if I'm ever searching for gift ideas, you can go to that again, narrow it down by what category or, you know, item you're looking for. Another thing that I always, always, always do when I am on Amazon is to narrow down the categories by four stars or higher. I mean, literally just eliminate everything else that isn't highly reviewed. I would also suggest to check, get it today or get it tomorrow. Because a lot of times the reason we're drawn to Amazon is because of the speed. Like we can get things that we need immediately. So just keep that in mind. You could literally get something today or tomorrow. If you really want to save a lot of money on Amazon, don't forget the today's deals page, which is updated hourly. And I'm always on there actually trying to find deals for you guys. But my tactic is to actually go to the deals page and then narrow it down again by whatever category you're looking for. And then you can actually go to the right hand side of the screen and actually narrow it down further to discounts sorted from high to low. And there you can see savings of like 70 to 80% on really best selling products. And then don't forget about the lightning deals because lightning deals, a lot of people don't even realize what they are, but they are insane deals that only last a couple hours. There's actually a set amount of inventory and you can save so much money on them, but most people just miss them. But on the deals page, you can narrow them down by only lightning deals and you can go through and see if there's anything that you like or that you need or that you want and jump on it because they only last again a couple hours. And once the inventory is gone, the, the lightning deal is over. Now, another way to save money on Amazon, I actually thought this was like a scam for years. I never did this, but it's, it's actually utilizing the Amazon coupons 
is it coupons or coupons? How do you say it? I don't know. But it's actually right under the price of many products. And it's a little box that you just check. Usually you get either a dollar amount off or a percentage off and you just check the box and then at checkout, it discounts it. Um, I again thought it was some type of scam or you had to like sign up for a credit card or something, but it's basically free money handed to you. Now for the longest time, I didn't even realize there was a, a full blown coupon section on Amazon. You can actually go to the coupon section and again, narrow it down by items and you can see all of the coupons available on Amazon. So for example, I love Lumino. It's the teeth whitening strips and pen. I found that there was a coupon for them and you just clip the coupon. I got $10 off at checkout. Next, we have a section called Amazon outlet, which is just full of overstock deals, like up to like 50% off items. Basically they're just items that probably the seller just bought way too much and they have way too much inventory. And so they have, you know, a lot of sales and you, you can find like, again, really good items, but they just need to get rid of it. And so you save a lot of money. And then we have Amazon warehouse and Amazon renewed, which they are similar, but different. And again, it's a program, both programs, people just are completely unaware of or clueless about. So I'll start with Amazon warehouse. So this is interesting. This is where you can go and save usually around like 25% on items that are kind of brand new. They're technically pre-owned or used, but most times they're just items where somebody orders something, they open it up and they're like, eh, I don't want this. And then they send it back. And so it's usually just new items with a damaged box. Now you can see the condition and the details of the item before you purchase it. And I would definitely recommend something that says new or very good. And it will say like damaged box. But again, you can save a lot of money. Now there's also the Amazon renewed program, which this is newer, I think in the last year, but this is very similar. It's just Amazon takes it a step further and tests and certifies these items. And you actually get a 90 day warranty with the purchase. So again, you can save hundreds of dollars on these items, but Amazon certifies that everything is good and you buy it. And even if something is wrong, you can, you know, get your money back within 90 days or get a new item. This next Amazon trick is so good. And I bet you didn't even know it existed. It's called no rush shipping. So hear me out. This is for items that you want, but like you don't need like immediately, you know, you just select no rush shipping at checkout and you'll still get the item in six business days. They just don't have to rush the item to you and you get it in two days, you know? Um, so they reward you with cash in your account. Like they'll literally add like perks and, you know, savings to your account that you can apply to future purchases. Okay, so since we talked about Amazon, we, we have to talk about their competitor, which is Walmart. Now, I, I do really like Walmart. I like Amazon better, but Walmart does have a similar program like Amazon Prime, but their version is called Walmart Plus. And there are some really good perks and benefits to it. As far as pricing, um, it is a little bit cheaper. It's $98 per year or $12.95 per month. But again, you get one day or two day free shipping on all orders. You also get unlimited same day delivery to your home. And like everybody has Walmart near them. So this is such a good perk because say in the morning or afternoon, you're making dinner and you're like, oh, I need this ingredient. You can place an order and literally have it delivered to your house in like an hour. Like it really does come in handy. And then also you do save 10 cents per gallon at many, many gas stations across the US like Exxon, Mobil, Walmart, Sam's Club, and all Murphy gas stations. And very similarly to Amazon, on Prime, you can also try Walmart Plus free for 30 days. So this is definitely something that if you're like, oh, maybe this would come in handy, just try the, the membership for 30 days. And if you use it over and over again, you'll know that it's worth it. Now, this is a new addition to the Walmart Plus package. You now get a free subscription to Paramount Plus, which again is another streaming service. They're probably trying to compete with Amazon and their Amazon Prime Video, but still Paramount Plus is like also a really, really good streaming platform. There's so many movies and shows and just, that's just like a really good one that everybody wants. Um, so again, you can get that for free. Another very interesting thing you can do with your Walmart Plus membership is if you are shopping in store, you can just download the app and you can use what's called scan and go, where as you're shopping in the store, you just scan the item, like the barcode, and you don't ever have to get in line. Like you can just scan all the items as you're shopping, pay at the end and 
walk out of the store and you are done. And that is a huge lifesaver. I mean, we all know the lines at Walmart can be insane. This is kind of a game changer. Now, another retailer that I'm just always shopping at, and you guys know I love it, it's Nordstrom, okay? Now, they don't have nearly as many like hidden shopping secrets. However, they do have something that most people are completely unaware of, and it is their price matching policy, which comes in way more handy than you might expect. Um, so let me just quickly give you a rundown. You can do it in store or online, and you can do it at checkout or 10 days after you've already purchased the item. And I'm telling you, they price match so many retailers, even Amazon, okay? So I'm telling you, you can like literally look up any item and there's so many other stores online that have it cheaper or even have it on sale. So there's Amazon, Bloomingdale's, Finish Line, Foot Locker, Macy's, Mr. Porter, Neiman Marcus, Meta Porter, Nike.com, Nordstrom, Rack, Saks Fifth Avenue, Shopbox, Sephora, Ulta, Zappos. I mean, really, you can just search an item on basically any other retailer and if you can find it on sale or cheaper anywhere else, you just show them your phone, you show them a printout and they will instantly price match that price. Now, if you are shopping online, they actually have a full blown online price matching form. You just fill it out and they will price match instantly online or refund you with your order number. Let's move on to TJ Maxx, which is another store I love shopping at in person. I rarely share anything that I find with you guys on here because I can't link anything from TJ Maxx. It's all just luck of the draw, but there are some really specific strategies into shopping at TJ Maxx, starting with shopping on Mondays and Tuesdays. Those are the best days to shop because they do their markdowns for the week, Monday mornings. So you can find the biggest selection of sale items, clearance items, Monday into Tuesday, and that's when actually new items arrive at the store. So if you're only shopping on Saturdays and Sundays, first of all, it's just like so busy on the weekends, but the inventory is really, really picked over. And then there's the TJ Maxx tag colors. Did you know that every single tag has a specific color and meaning? So if you see a white tag, that's just an item with a regular price. That's what it starts out to be. And then if you see a red tag, that's actually the clearance price. But taking it a step further, if you see a yellow tag, that's actually the final clearance price. That's the lowest the item is going to go. So if you find something with the yellow tag and you like it, I would say jump on it because the price is probably going to be darn good. And then we have the purple tags, which are designer high-end pieces, usually in the runway section. And then we have the blue tags, which means that's a coordinating set, meaning it comes with two or three pieces. And if you only have one of the blue tags, you're missing something else. Okay, change of scenery. I crashed a light bulb. Yes, one of my professional big swirly light bulbs that is energy efficient, fell to the floor, mercury's in the air, not good. So I had to come down here to my basement studio, but picking right up where we left off, the TJ Maxx tags, if you see that compare at pricing, they really inflate that number. So I guess my tip is ignore it. Just ignore that number because they really trick you into thinking you're getting a good deal and you might not be. Now, a really good trick into checking in real time if you're getting a good deal is to have the Amazon app. And I do this at TJ Maxx, I'll do this at Walmart, Target, really any store. If I find an item that I really like and I'm questioning the price, I will take the Amazon app and there's like a barcode scanner in the corner and you can scan the barcode on the item. So in this case, it's this Adidas hat that I really like and it'll instantly find the item on Amazon and you can check immediately to see if you could get it cheaper on Amazon or if the item at say TJ Maxx is actually a good deal. And in this case it was. Okay, back to the purple tags at TJ Maxx, which as I mentioned is the runway section, which are the high-end designer items that are up to 70% off. Now the catch is everything is out of season or last season, but who cares if you find a Gucci bag that's 70% off and you like it, just buy it. I think a lot of people just don't associate TJ Maxx with designer, but check online as well. I found so many many good items like a Valentino bag, Versace, a Bottega Veneta bag that I really liked. I saw a Gucci watch, which was super stylish. So don't forget to check that out. Now this next TJ Maxx trick only works in stores and I find that it usually works best for home decor items or furniture, but it's when you kind of just point out 
that something is flawed or damaged. And you can usually find like a few nicks or marks and you just do this at checkout and they'll almost always give you a 10% off discount. It's like part of their protocol. They just have like a code that they can enter. So you don't even have to necessarily ask for it. You can just like point out like, oh, I think this is a little bit damaged right here and they will give you a discount. Okay, now we're gonna move into some specific shoe tricks, more specifically sneakers like Nikes, Adidas, Converse. If you're looking for these best-selling shoes, a lot of them, especially Nikes are so hard to find. They're often sold out. They're just like all the rage right now. They're really expensive. I'm telling you guys, start at Ross. It's Ross Dress for Less. I often associate the store with TJ Maxx. It's completely different, but they get so many Nikes and Adidas and Converse. They're kind of known for that, but usually they're like 40 to 70% off. And most of the time they're styles that are literally still in the stores at like Dick's, at Foot Locker, Nike.com. I went to my local one and I found so many stylish Nikes. Another sneaker shoe trick, and this is a good one. This is great for any styles that are sold out or they're just really expensive. You can actually actually just buy them in a youth size instead. And it's so easy to do. There's actually just a rule of thumb. I'll insert the, the chart here. Whatever size you are in women's, just subtract one and a half shoe sizes, and that's your size in youth. And almost always, you can find whatever style you are looking for in youth. They're way more available and they're way cheaper. So not only can you find what you're looking for, but you can save money too. Now, if you or your loved one or your kids are just dead set on a pair of shoes that are just sold out everywhere, I highly recommend the website Goat. For a while, I wasn't sure, like, is this a legit website? No, it's totally legit. I've used it multiple times. It's so good. They have basically like hundreds of thousands of shoes that are sold out everywhere and you pay a little bit more to get them. And this, it's not that much really. You pay the purchase price, you pay shipping and taxes. Um, so I purchased these Nike Dunks. I had been wanting them for months and months and months. People could not get their hands on them. I just went to goat.com, paid a little bit extra, and I got them that week. You can even pay a little bit extra to get them like the next day. It's like an instant purchase, but they have so many different people working there to authenticate and legitimize everything. So I just feel like it's a very trustworthy site and something a lot of people aren't even aware of. Okay, now we're gonna move into Wayfair, which is a very popular furniture and home decor website. I shopped on it so much when I first moved into this house and I did pick up a few tricks along the way, starting with do not, and I repeat, do not ever pay full price for anything. They have a sale usually once a month and if you're looking at something and it's full price, just add it to your cart and do not purchase it because I guarantee you later on in the month, you can get it cheaper. Now, just super quick, if you can hold off to the Way Day sale, that's a huge sale they have twice a year in April and October. The discounts are like 70 to 80% off. I mean, the vendors literally plan for having a zero profit margin and it only lasts two days. So I know some people can't wait to that sale, but if you can, like that's the way you should go. Now, as I mentioned, if you add items to your cart, Wafer has this really sneaky thing they do, whereas if you have an account with them, they will email you like a day or two later saying, reminder, don't forget about this. And they often include a 10% off discount to incentivize you to move forward with the purchase. So again, that's another little sneaky way to save some money. Another little sneaky trick is the fact that Wayfair has several sister sites that you may have also heard of. So there is Wayfair, then there's Joss and Main, there's All Modern, there's Dwell Studio, and there's also Birch Lane, but they're all connected. So say you find something on Wayfair, just make sure you copy the name and plug it into the other sister sites. And sometimes you can literally find it cheaper on the other sites, like the other sites might be running sales. This does, definitely does not always happen, but there have been several occasions where I found the exact same thing on sale on a sister site. So those are my genius shopping tricks. I hope you learned a few things, but I'll see you in this video next where I share 25 best-selling Amazon fashion items. They're so stylish and very affordable. I'll see you on over there. Bye.